How's my beard look? <laughs> it looks sexy, babe. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, everybody, to another... What's Dove Wednesday? Shazam. <laughs> it's my new go-to phrase, is Shazam. What was the... There was a cartoon. It wasn't a cartoon. It was a like a the Bionicle Man, the Million Dollar Man, um, Lee Majors. But it was a guy, Shazam. <laughs> do, you, do you remember that TV show? No. He they were like they rode around like an RV or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to Google. I'm gonna, if you remember the TV show of the dude going Shazam, <laughs> drop us a comment. <laughs> I'm gonna Google it tonight. I'll find out. <laughs> You're funny. Thank you. Uh, so, we um, had a contest for our 3,000 subscribers, and so we're going to get the results of that today. And then after that, we're going to talk about reality TV in Alaska. True or false? <laughs> so let's find out who won this thing. Real or fake? <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin. Hands for Boatman the second. He says, thank you for the boat videos. He's entered. Uh, I'm sorry, last fan standing 999, he did not say he was entered, so we'll go on to pick a different, uh, a different winner. Daryl Griffin, he did not say he was entered. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Jim Woods. Dan home in the sticks. He is our second winner. Uh, so, hands for Boatman. He wins the hat. Dan wins something from um, Mike at um, Zona Hosters. Congratulations to Hans for Boatman the second. He is the winner of an AK Pride hat. And to my main man Dan home in the sticks. Uh, he is the winner of a item from. Um, Mike at Zona Holsters. Congratulations to both of you guys. I know how to get in touch with uh, Dan because he has a YouTube channel as well. Um, but I don't know how to get in touch with Hansford Boatman in the second. So there's an email address in the link down below, Mr. Boatman. And if you would just shoot me an email with your uh, information, your shipping information, we'll get that item sent out to you. Uh, and then let's... Oh, and... 3,000 subscribers. Yay! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, before we get into AK, uh, the AK reality TV, I also wanted to point out a couple of um, things that have been brought up. And one was on the 10 essential items for living off grid. We talked about um, the muck boots. I, used the, I just purchased those... Um, they're the Arctic muck boots. Those things are super warm. They're still not like Mickey Mouse boots or your bunny boots warm, but they're a lot warmer than just your plain Jane non-insulated extra toughs or, or them Grunden boots. But a trick that I learned out at working at the gold mine, and let me get it here, is um, these little booties here. They're my favorite. So, uh, yeah, I... Turn her on to this, and, and one of my co workers had turned me on to it. Is basically you buy uh, a boot one size up. So I wear a 10, I buy an 11, and then I wear these little booties inside. And what these things do is they wick away the sweat off your feet because if you're working like at the mine, I work 12 to 14 hour days, and at the end of 14 hours, you know, even though it's cold outside, just your feet not being able to breathe. Uh, generates all that condensation and sweat 
I guess it doesn't generate condensation. Sweat. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this wicks away all the sweat so it doesn't. You're still going to have damp socks, but it's not going to be like. I mean, literally at the end of the day, I could take my boot and pour out water from, from my feet sweating. So You must have had a hole in your boot. <laughs> I actually thought I did have a hole in my boot. At first, I was like, why are my boots soaking wet? And then that's when one of my roommates goes, do you got these little booties? And I go, no. He goes, you got to get these booties, man, because that's what's going to keep all that water from sloshing around in your boot. So uh, if you want to give them a shot, I, I'll put them down in our, in our uh, Amazon channel, our little shopping page. So uh, they're, they're awesome. They're not that much. Yeah. And she loves them because not only do they keep the, the moisture off your feet, which also, if your feet are wet, they also get colder faster, but they also are a little warmer, even if you oh, yeah. just put them on. Um, and then the, uh, and so then let's talk about Alaska Reality TV. What do you think? I've never watched an Alaska Reality TV show. Not one. I don't know if she's lying or not. Because we don't really watch TV that much. <laughs> now, I have watched reality TV at the mine. And I'd watch like, um, I'd watch... Like uh, the, the Last Frontier show, I've seen the um, that Arctic Refuge show with that the last like few cabins that are above the Arctic Refuge, and once those people die, then all all their cabins will go back to the government um, or the state. I don't know who uh, occupies. I'm assuming it's the the state. But um, I've seen that show. I've seen Life Below Zero. Is that all of them? Well, and Alaska State Troopers. That's another reality TV show. I I don't know nothing about police work, but I would assume that Alaska State Troopers is probably the most real out of all the shows. Probably. I don't think you can script citizens versus city police and have a show work like that. Bad boys, bad boys. <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? <sighs> yeah, but the cat that bought So, um, I think that's probably the most real show out there is Alaska State Troopers. So, you said the nearest one that was, I mean, the closest one to us was called The Alaska Bush People. The Alaska Bush People. I personally, in my personal opinion, and I think that's the only one that we're really going to talk on. Because that's the only one that we really have had any interaction with. And third party information from, <laughs> uh, is Alaska Bush People. I think that's probably the most fake show. Probably not on TV, but it's definitely probably the most fake Alaska TV show. Does it? I don't know. I've never seen it. So let's go into some story time. <laughs> so at the gold mine, I'm laying in bed watching Alaska Bush people and one of my buddies uh, that was my roommate because we'd do two weeks on out there and then we'd come and we'd be off for two weeks so we'd have roommates and, and stay in a little like a little dorm type room um, and he was from Angoon which is really the only I mean I, I, Angoon's like the, the the only real city on Admiralty Island and the other, there's like little cabins, but they're all like no power, off-grid cabins there. Um, but he comes in the room, and he's a, he's a big-time Mormon. I mean, he's super religious. Uh, he comes in the room, and he, see, he hears the Alaska Bush people on it. He goes, he looks me like dead in the eye. He goes, what in the hell are you doing? <laughs> I was kind of thrown off a little, because I think that was the first time I ever heard him say hell. I was like... I was like, I'm, I go, Joe, I'm watching the Bush people. He goes, I know what you're watching, but why? I said, uh, I want to see how Bush I got to be to be more Bush than these guys. And he's like, dude, you're already more Bush than those guys. And we really don't even consider ourselves Bush people because, I mean, we're just a hop, skip, and a jump, a boat ride away from Juno. And so we, if you look at my email address, it's, Pseudo Bush, because we're not really Bush. I don't consider us Bush. <laughs> you said Bush so many times. Because I love Bush. 
There's lots of love about it. <laughs> Don't you love... <laughs> oh, gosh. Maybe she doesn't love Bush as much as I do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, we may have to edit some of this out. I don't know. I don't know. This may have went from PG-13 straight to R. <laughs> Where are we even going with this? The Bush people. Oh, Bush people. That's in their name. I can't help but say Bush. Uh-huh. So that... Oh, God. Oh, recompose. <laughs> so then another one of my friends from work, uh, the Bush people lived in Huna. And he's from Huna. And uh, so I'd always give him a hard time. I'd say, hey, Jeff. And, uh, was it Huna or Angoon? No, they're from Huna. Okay. Jim was from Angoon, my roommate. Got it. But this guy lived in Huna, the Bush people. That's where they built their little town. Brownstown was in in uh, Huna. So I said, I'd always give him a hard time. Be like, hey, Jeff, I saw your friend the other day. He goes, who? And he'd <laughs> rattle off some like big time Huna people. And I'd be like, no, no, the Bush people. <laughs> And he'd be like, well, I can't say the words he'd say, but you know what I mean. He'd be like, <laughs> uh, so he he was not a big fan of the Bush people. And he said that, like them, but we live on an island, so there's no like back roads to us. But he said that you'd only see them coming in on their boat to the property. But he said like, a quarter mile past their on the back side of the property was like a uh, like a logging road and 20 minutes from that their place was like a pizza joint <laughs> and I was like that don't sound too bush to me but you know I'm not to, I'm it's, not one to judge it's reality TV what can he say so is the bush people real or not Look, we're not done yet hold on there's an episode in the bush people where they go to Seattle before before we go to that one let's go to I already said we worked two uh, two on and two off. Every time I'd come home from from the mine, I'd see these bush people in Juno running around. Fred Myers, Breezin. the Breezin. I'm like, how bush can you be and be in Juno all the time? Now, obviously, you're gonna have to come and resupply with food and stuff. And I also, at the time, I didn't know, but later on, you find out that. The mom got sick, and she was probably in the hospital. Or the the dad and the boy went to jail for PFD, or basically stealing money from the state government. Um, but uh, anyways, I seen them in town all the time. I was like, what, what? Why are they always here? They're always here the same time I'm here. And um, so let's fast forward to this. They're in Seattle, and they're like just chowing all these donuts, and they're like. Oh, these donuts are so good. <laughs> We've never, we can't get fresh baked donuts in the bush. And I'm like, dude, like a month ago, I seen you walking out of the breeze in, which makes f- fresh donuts every morning. I was like, don't tell me you never had no fresh <laughs> baked donut. I, I seen you chowing down on a box of them at the breeze in. <sighs> but are they real or fake? I'm gonna have to say fake. She won't. She won't give an opinion because she says she doesn't know. <laughs> I know. And she's she's true. But from what from all the evidence that's been presented before me, I can make a fairly certain claim that it's not a hundred percent real. How about that? Does that's that sound good. diplomatic enough? <laughs> it does. That's the other thing that we wanted to hit on was at our. Uh, why off grid video? I kind of threw. We've mentioned the Bush people in a couple of our videos, and it's kind of like an. Uh, uh, with us, it's a, kind of an inside joke, but um, I was like, we're kind of like, you know, I said like at the very end, we're kind of like the Bush people, just not so dramatic. Uh, it's kind of an inside joke because we're we're not anything like the Bush people. <laughs> not really. <laughs> we don't catch salmon and punch it to kill it. Oh my God! They did that. <laughs> It's like in their opener. You see, you see one of the boys like catch a salmon in the stream. He just starts smashing it with his fist, and I'm like, Oh God! 
It's that one that climbs trees all the time. Uh, we've been contacted a few times about doing a TV show. And we always turned them down. And then one time a company came by and, and it made a really good, like, it made it sound like it was going to be okay. Because they, they, they didn't use TV, they used documentary. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I could do, I could do a one-time documentary deal. But, you know, once we talked to them, we just, we're not interested in, in doing reality TV because they, I mean, it's just all about the drama. And we're not too, we're not, that's not what we focus on. <clears throat> and we have, um... <laughs> We'd make good stuff, though. Oh. <laughs> now, if we did have reality, if the cameras rolled 24-7 on us, oh. oh, dear Lord. It'd be a blockbuster. <laughs> It really was. <laughs> That's the real reason I don't want to do it. <laughs> she would, she, it would just be a blur of bleeps. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, roll that again, but <laughs> please don't swear. <laughs> yeah. Her dad was a sailor. I mean... I, I try hard sometimes. No, I don't. She... <laughs> should try something <laughs> um but our friends they knew uh, well because we talked about we talked about doing the the tv with our neighbors to see to get their feel on if they would be like this you know upset or whatever um so when we were talking to one of our neighbors uh and i don't want to mention them by name so i don't think that i'm not mentioning you by name because i don't want to mention you by name but you didn't give us permission to talk about this so <clears throat> Um, but they said they had um, some friends that built a cabin, like a, a pre-built cabin, and built it on a different island from here. And uh, part of the deal was they was getting um, some money, maybe not taking out the cabin, but they were getting money to, for a TV crew to go out and film them building the cabin. I think the TV paid for the supplies for the cabin. For, so they paid for the yeah. A pre-built cabin. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, they would ask them to, like, they would ask them to, like, fight. Like, you know, not like physical fight, but, you know, like, drop a hammer on a toe or something like that, you know, like, make some sort of drama just because drama's ratings. Yeah, I think they just got tired of people all up in their face when they're trying to build a cabin. Yeah, that's true, too. So. Can you hear that? Gunner's thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, basically, I, I don't want anybody following me around. No, yeah, I, I, I get enough from him. <laughs> I follow her around like a little puppy. <laughs> With the damn camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, I didn't pick a commenter of the week yet. We're gonna have to pick commenter of the week. Hey. Okay, so the commenter of the week is. I have my glasses on. Triumph screen printing. Congratulations, comment of the week. And this is actually, it's, it's, we already just talked about it, but it's funny. Um, this is on the Y Off Grid video, and Triumph Screen Printing says, like Alaskan bush people? I think not, lol, <laughs> lol. Uh, those clowns were told how to live in the wild. You guys had to learn it the hard way by, tri by trial and error and experience it, and experiencing it. Um, big difference. Cheers, B. I'm B, I guess. Cheers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so thank you, Triumph Screen Printing. Uh, we appreciate all the comments. If you want to be commenter of the week, what do you got to do? Comment down below so we know. <laughs> Our son. <laughs> Our son told us that. He's like, comment below so, so we, we know. know. <laughs> Super cool. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>